All right, I have it, a block of clay softening up right now. And the only reason I'm using this clay is because I was using it before, and so I've got to use the last of what I've got. This is a J-Mac clay, and uh, I'm going to cut it up now. Now, this is how I cut up my clay, and uh, let's... Uh, Light it up. Oh, you can see where the light was hotter on the clay and yeah, that was right in the middle <laughs> all right <coughs> all right I'll be back after I get done cutting all this up took a comb and cut uh, the back of it and I formed it, it uh, by cutting it with a uh, wire cutter and uh, I'm going to use this to try to come up with texture on the dog's coat. So I'm taking my uh, comb that I cut up and I'm basically putting the short hairs on this dog's back with the uh, tool. It's round so it uh, has a tendency to cover the curves a lot better than a straight comb would. And uh, that's all I'm doing right now. And then I'm going to do a little thicker uh, texture on his mane. And that's what, you know, really what it is around his head is a mane of fur and uh, I still got all these photographs of Sam that uh, I'm going to use pretty much comes from the middle in that direction there and then sort of uh, in that direction there and that direction there and that direction there and then it reverses and it comes around like that, like that, like that. I don't want to make it too strong of a line, uh, but I do want to uh, indicate the short fur. What I need to do is get the other part of the comb and make it a little narrow three or four teeth to get in the tight areas. Okay, I've got uh, this little bit cut off of the uh, main comb. <coughs> and what I'm doing is just getting it in here where something smaller than that... Uh, other one uh, can't do and that's get in here and put a little detail that uh, I want and just trade off and come back to the other one where I can use a wider swath so to speak I'm going to take a lighter fluid and put it on this brush Just 
lightly go over the clay and what the uh, lighter fluid does is it basically melts the clay something in the property of uh, the lighter fluid does that and I'm not sure what it is and why it does I did the same thing with the uh, side of the body. So I'm just going to hit that a little bit, not too much. Now, I've looked at the back of Sam, and his fur doesn't actually part in the middle of his back. It's just one continuous texture. I truly hope you're enjoying this video uh, during this speeded up version of uh, my sculpting. Uh, if you would like to uh, learn a little bit more about my instructional DVDs, uh, of which I've got uh, probably a good 50 years of experience packed into these DVDs, um, little tricks, little things you can do uh, in your sculpting, please check out uh, the link in the video description below this video. Also, if you enjoy this video or my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. 
and then click on the uh, follow uh, button in the subscription. All right, back to the video. I think that looks pretty good. All right. Have a great weekend. And uh, wonderful coming week. I hope to be taking this to the foundry this coming week. All right. Good night.